Getting started with any new system can be pretty daunting, especially when combined with learning a new goal-setting methodology. In order to help make sense of all parts of an OKR, we've broken down the core aspects of both an objective and a key result when going about the process of building out the OKRs for your company, department, teams, and employees. Today, we're going to be covering these various parts of OKR and how we've laid them out in the product. OKR, as the name suggests, has two key elements, objectives and key results. Objective is referred to as what has to be achieved. Key results are the how you achieve it. Profit suggests your objectives have a simple verb and noun structure and follow a uniform standard along the organization. Key results can either be measurables or non-measurables. Non-measurable key results are tracked using milestones or the percentage tracked option. We have five components and objectives. Target date, visibility, alignments, delegations, and shared. The target date is when this objective should be accomplished. Visibility determines who can see the objective in your organization. When creating your OKR, you can create individual OKRs and OKRs aligned with your manager's key results as well. Alignments are vertical links. Delegations are essentially top-down or cascaded OKRs. This allows you to select someone from your team and either ask them to own or collaborate on a key result or assign a key result to an individual as an objective, allowing them to create their own more granular key results below it. When you want to align OKRs with colleagues from other departments, you can share. Sharing is a horizontal alignment. An example could be the finance for budget horizontally aligns with marketing for price. Key results can be action-oriented and measurable. Increase, decrease, and maintain key results are all measurables, like time, revenue, cost. When you don't have exact numbers, you can start off with an established baseline key result and add numbers later on. Then you define what changes. You define the metric that you want to change within the key results or define the list of milestones to track progress. Here, you mark the extent of change, like if you want to change from a certain number to a higher number. Track the date and indicate when you want to accomplish it. And then set your check-in frequency. How often do you want to update this key result? These are all the necessary components for a solid OKR in the Profit.co system. Profit.co can help you build strong, detailed OKRs that help lead your business to success.